a comprehensive win by the Newberry Park Panthers. This is a VCS Preps Post Game Extra presented by AAA Travel. I'm Danny Page. He's the Hawk, Eric Evel Hawk. Eric, a pleasure calling this game with you tonight. It's my fourth time seeing the Panthers this year. Your first. They're something special, aren't they? Oh, it's really impressive when you look at this team and how dominant they can be in almost any fashion that they choose. So good on the run game tonight. So good through the air. Their defense getting the job done. Special teams getting a block punt. They did everything in every aspect that you could ask for to come away with a win tonight. And offensively, they beat you in so many different ways, don't they? The Holmes brothers and how dynamic they are, but a really solid ground game. And, you know, fourth and fifth wide receiver targets as well that are quite potent. Certainly, it makes it so difficult when you have to worry about Matthew Matlock and his ability to rip off a big run, a 38-yarder on the first drive of this game tonight, which really, I think, helps set the tone and open things up on the edge for Derek, for Darnay, for Prado to get things going through the air. You realize he didn't even have to throw a single pass in the second half until the, until the second team came in for Newbury Park in the second half. Yeah, pretty impressive stuff from Newberry Park offensively. But what stuck out to me tonight was their defensive performance. They gave up 26 points. They gave up zero meaningful points. The game was already done. It was a very impressive performance from a unit where if you just look at the numbers, you see, oh, they tend to give up points. But that happens because the offense gets them so far in front. And even at that, they're still able to harass, bother quarterbacks, force turnovers, plus 16 plus 17 on turnover differential for the season that's out of this world i think the entire team's out of this world at this point but i can tell you next week they will be in this world a home game coming up let's first check in on the highlights from newberry park's big 42 26 quarterfinal win yeah i remember that in 2009 the quarterfinal appearance and we're underway as St. Joseph kicks away, Darnay Holmes back deep to receive, and that will go for a touchback. Let's see. It's another give, and it is to Matlock. And Matlock around the edge of the 45. Other side of midfield, 50, 40, 35, 30, and finally wrestled down at the 30-yard line. A lot of room for Matlock, Hawk, and Newberry Park in business. Can't help him out. First and one now. Handoff is to Matlock, and Matlock walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Newberry Park. It took the Panthers all of 75 seconds. Not a single down lineman for Newberry Park. Look at that. As now five rush, backside blitz, thrown downfield, and intercepted. Easy pick for Dalton Geringer. Across midfield, Geringer will finally be run out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Well, obviously, they're running behind Oaken, and if you don't run behind Oaken, you can go to the other side, and there's a lot of room. There's room for Derek Holmes, and he's in the end zone. Holmes triumphant in his return in this first quarter of play. He's missed almost a month. He's back where he belongs. Margin for arrow is absolute zero. Prado throwing to Holmes. What a route. 25, 30 yards downfield. And Darnay is into the end zone. Touchdown, Newberry Park. How did he shake free? For the second, third consecutive drive coming up here. And more trouble for the punter. This one's blocked. Yep, partially blocked. Newberry Park will fall on that at the 32-yard line. Fine block on the play from Christian Egerbidi. Give Matlock. Why not? He walks on in. His second score of the night. 8.42 to go in the second quarter, and it is all new. Barry Park. Second and eight from the pistol now. Jekyll's looking left, throwing down field, intercepted. Easy pick along that right-hand side. The Panthers coming back the other way. They return it to the original line of scrimmage. The right plays, they create turnovers, a senior quarterback. It doesn't get much better as Prado throws back across the field, this time looking for Garinger, and Garinger hauls it in. First down inside the 20-yard line. Great throw from Prado, huh? Certainly looking like one of those nights. Prado throwing near side. Caught, diving into the end zones, McGee. Touchdown, Panthers. Third and goal from the nine. Blitz coming from the Panthers. Jekylls throws it. It's intercepted. Picked off by the Panthers again. The third time. You are right, actually. 
Here's Jekylls. Flushed again to the end zone, and he's picked off again inside the 10-yard line. This time, it's Ryan McGee. Plus 12 on turnover differential coming in tonight. Make it plus 16 now. Jekylls runs to his right and fumbles the football. It's plus 17. Picked up by Newberry Park. First and 10 on the 23. Matlock on the pitch. Matlock free. 10, 5. Touchdown, Newberry Park. The Panthers appear to be headed to a CIF semifinal for the first. Newberry Park takes a knee. And the Panthers move to the CIF Southern Section, Northern Division semifinals. They beat St. Joseph Santa Maria 42-26. A chilly night at Newberry Park High School, but the Panthers steamroll the opposition tonight. A 42-26 win over St. Joseph, but it was never really that close, was it, Zach Oaken? Uh, thanks for joining us here, our player of the game, obviously. How far you and this program have come over the years. years. What a ride. No, it's been fun. I mean, this team is, we're all together. We're all we're like brothers, and it just, it shows on the field. Um, we all play together. We all, we all, like, we, everyone out there is, like, with each other. We, we support each other, and even if we mess up, we're always, we're there to, to help them get out of it and move on to the next play, and it, it's, it's, it really shows. I mean, uh, the past few years, I mean, I'm not, like, we've had a great brotherhood, but this team, I think, is just special, and it's, I think it's starting to show. Yeah, I think when I've seen this team this year, it's the fourth game now we've done here on the VCS Preps Game of the Week uh, of Newberry Park. This is the best you've played. This was the most complete game I think you played on. Yeah, I mean, we defensively, we played awesome uh, for the first three and a half quarters. Um, and, you know, offensively, we did what we wanted to do. Uh, we controlled the line of scrimmage. Uh, we got we controlled the front seven, and we ran the ball well. Uh, we, we spaced it out when we had to, and it was just a fun game to be part of. Do you think going in, you know, to these final games, this could be my last game, this could be my last night? Does it does it cross your mind, or, uh, you know, do you kind of know deep down you're just going to keep playing Panther football into December? You know, it crosses your mind early in the week. You're like, hey, this could be my last week of practice. But that 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 fades quickly when you know you get out there and you and your friend, you and your brothers. I mean, you you work hard, and when you come to the game, you're pretty confident that uh, we can we can beat them. And uh, so, I mean, early in the week, yeah, but later on, uh, I think it's all we're confident. That we're going to keep moving on. You're not going to be an Oregon Duck just yet. Keep on winning, man, all right? Yeah. I mean, I go up there in just a few weeks, so I mean, I'm mean, i trying to enjoy this last last ride with, with my boys, so it's going to be fun. Well, best luck next week, all right? Yeah, thank you. Big thanks to Zach Oaken. He is a Newberry Park Panther for life. Huge win tonight. They move on to the semifinals. A third consecutive game here. We'll have full coverage on VCS Preps. Great night. Thanks to you guys. We will see you next week. Good night.